G'day and welcome back to Unimig and today I'm going to show you how to make this two piece picnic table out of some dressed pine timber slats and some 25 by 25 square hollow section. Anyway, enough chatter, let's get stuck in. So to get this project started, we'll be using 25 by 25 square hollow section for the frame and dressed pine for the tabletop. All the measurements will be in the description. Firstly, we need to measure and cut our tabletop, stain it and make sure it dries in time. So let's get started. So I've marked in 1200 millimeters from the end and drew myself a line. I'll be clamping down this straight bar just so I can get a nice accurate cut with my circular saw. So now that I've got my bench tops cut out, I've got six pieces that look like this. But before we stain them, we'll need to give them a bit of a sand on the edges this 1200 grit wet and dry just to get the splinters off and make it nice and smooth. We'll be using this all purpose outdoor dark mahogany stain. So we're doing three coats of this stain, making sure to get every edge and every surface, separating every coat by two hours. So now it's time to assemble our table frames. So first of all, what we've got to do is make sure we've got the right sections. So we've got two times 1200s and two of the 855s. We hold them in place using our right angle magnets and also making sure that they're square using our tape. Check diagonals, both measurements should be the same. After that, we'll come along, we'll tack the inside corners, then we'll check the square again, and then we'll tack the outside corners and weld it up. So today, to weld up these frames, I'm using the Viper 180 AC-DC. I've got it set on 70 amps, that's plenty of heat for this job because it's only 1.6mm wall thickness and we don't want to burn through. I've also got a 2.4 seriated tungsten partnered with a 1.6mm fill rod. So now that we've got our frame welded, I'm going to do one more thing here, which is put a support beam in the middle. We're going to do that by measuring 600mm in from the end and also marking the centre of the bar. This is to give it a bit more strength and also so the tabletop doesn't bow in. Just remember, every time you weld up a frame like this, or any other frame for that matter, you should stagger your welds in diagonals so it doesn't distort or pull out a square. Now I've chose to use the tick process, but you can use MIG. Anyways, let's sand back the welds, make them look flush and nice and neat. So now that we've finished sanding the welds on our frame, it's time to move on to the legs. So we get two of our uprights, I'm going to measure 20 millimeters down from the top and then make a line in the middle as well. Center punch, pilot hole with a 3 mil drill and a 6.5 mil drill to follow to accommodate for our 6 mil bolt to fix them onto our frame. So now our holes are drilled, I'm going to give them a bit of a sand just to get the burrs off. And then I've got some 50 by 3 flat bar here, which I'll cut some 25 by 25 squares out of to cap the ends of our legs to give them a nice flush look. Okay, so now we've welded and sanded the end caps onto the vertical members of our legs. Now it's time to assemble the legs. So we've got a piece here at 8.55 and two vertical pieces at 4.25. We hold them in place with our right angle magnets. Make sure our diagonal is right, both measurements must be the same. Make sure it's square. We'll tack the insides, tack the outsides, make sure it's square again, turn it round and then we'll weld it. So now you should have two legs that look like this. Welded, sanded, ready to go. The next step is to cut some lugs out of this 50 by 6 flat bar. So I'm going to cut four pieces of 40 millimetres, which I've done here. Then I'm going to measure 20 millimetres in from that side, 20 millimetres in from that side, centre punch it, and drill at 6.5 millimetres, which will attach to the legs, and then that will attach to our table frame. So now it's time to locate our lugs onto the table frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure in 50 millimetres from the end, right on the corner, square it off to the frame with our square, 
tack it and weld it on. So just quickly, the lugs have been tacked on. We fitted our legs with our six mil screws just to make sure everything's level and it stands up straight. Now it's time to fully weld our lugs on. So now we've got our lugs fully welded on. We've got the right angles for our legs. They're tightened with the six mil bolts. Now we've got to come up with the locking mechanism so that the legs don't spread any further than they have to. So we've got a piece of round bar here. I'm going to cut two pieces at 25 millimeters. Weld one onto the back of the lug there, or one diagonally onto the back of the lug there, and that'll stop them from spreading out any further. So now we've got our locking mechanisms welded in place, it's time to give our frame a quick paint job using our enamel flat black before we put our tabletops on. Okay, so now the paint's dry, I've grabbed three of my pre-stained boards, now I'm going to attach those to the frame. So how I'm going to do that is by evenly marking with a centre punch along the frame, pre-drill with a 1 8 drill bit, and then followed by the screws that are going to go from the bottom so that you don't see any screw heads from the top. So here we are, we've got our tabletops attached to the frame. Finally, we need to fix our legs for the last time onto our frame using 6mm bolts coupled with star washers and flat washers, and that's the job done. So to make this two-piece picnic table set, we basically repeated the steps twice to make two identical tables that we can butt up next to each other and can fit more people. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss a video again.